Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install a um, plugin in WordPress called WP Table Reloaded. Uh, this used to be named Table Press. Uh, basically this very very useful and free plugin allows you to create um, from simple to complicated tables in WordPress. Um, if you know how to code HTML and CSS you know how much of work it is to create tables so um, we're going to look into this plugin and see how it works uh, I'm going to come here to plugins tab and click add new in the search box here on the top I'm going to type the word WP table reloaded you may see either the word table press or WP table reloaded both do the same thing as I explained a couple of minutes ago uh, they're by the same company um, and they may appear under different names I'm going to click on install now it will take a couple of seconds and then I'm going to click on the word activate alright so the software is activated um, it's very very good idea to uh, read the settings and the documentation of this plugin to understand how it works and how to operate it but I'm going to make your world easy and show you how to work with this um, what this um, the plugin does is basically it adds a tab here to the dashboard um, and it shows you all the tables, add new tab table, import and export and so forth. So uh, we're going to create a new table. So let's click on add new table. Let's give it a name. For instance, I'm going to call this price chart. Um, let's uh, scroll down it's asking me about the number of the rows and columns I'm going to have four rows and two columns then click on the button add table alright so this table is being created all we need to do is to put data in here um, the first row which is going to be the header I'm going to type on the top left I'm going to type type service and here on the second cell I'm going to type price okay um, let's pretend this is a hair salon so I'm just gonna call it haircut for men fifty dollars haircut for women hundred dollars and hair styling from hundred and fifty dollars okay there are lots of options here that you can uh, review in your own time you can insert links images you can add or hide um, or duplicate a row or a column and also here there's uh, there's a lot of options uh, regarding to how to uh, style your table I'm going to leave all these uh, as default uh, and then I'm going to click on save changes uh, before I do that I'm going to come up here one more time and zoom in so you can see what I've put in here scrolling down clicking on save changes alright it says saving successful um, all you need to do is to go up and find the table ID there's a little code here I need to copy this with the brackets so I'm going to highlight it right click on it copy we need to paste this in a page we want to add this table to so I'm going to go to pages um, 
I do have a services page so I'm just going to go there um, in order to have this in you need to be under text or HTML tab so be careful please because we were dealing with a code you cannot be under visual you must click on te text or you may see the word HTML here and then you paste the table ID here and then click on update so let me show you the uh, code here there you go and then we're gonna click on update then I'm gonna click on preview changes to see what happened and there you go we have a really nice table created here and uh, um, you can always go back um, to tables so I'm gonna go to table press all tables you can access this price chart table here if you want to modify it um, change the styling prices or whatever you want um, I'm gonna do a quick edit here so you see what I mean by that for instance let's say I would like to insert a row so I'm just gonna scroll down and come here to table manipulation and click on insert it says you did not select any rows so it, you have to select the row it, so that it knows where to add a row so I'm gonna click add one row there you go so it added another row and um, you're welcome to put some information here click save changes to see the um, new added row I'm just gonna type curling and just put two hundred dollars scroll down save changes I'm gonna go back to my page and update the page there you go I have the new row added I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching